So 6.50 a.m., 55 degrees, so nice, cool, crisp morning. We're on our way in for extra magic hours at Magic Kingdom. Oh, and yeah, you see all those people behind me? <laughs> it's not empty. Okay, so we're going into Magic Kingdom early for extra magic hours today. Uh, gonna try and hit the Fantasyland rides. Hopefully get them with short waits. There's a little bit more people here than I was hoping we could have. But we'll get into the parks, catch everything we can. I'm actually so hopeful, optimistic that we might be able to finish up a lot of Magic Kingdom today. All right, so extra magic hours at the empty parks at that empty time of year. They actually just opened the gates. Yep. Sure looks empty to me. Can't wait to get in with absolutely nobody there. No lines. Some of these people on the Disney forums. Okay. Reality check. Magic Kingdom on Extra Magic Morning. Construction going on there. Construction going on there. <laughs> We're going there. And that is the extra magic hour line for Peter Pan. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. But people stopping in the middle of the walkway is. It's Snow White. Ooh. Uh, look, it's the dungeon. Joseph, why aren't you in there? What a messy house. This looks like you live here, Joseph. What if they let me? It's dark. So Joseph's like, Snow White didn't have a very happy ending. But it said it. Which makes it very yeah. sad. It's, well, it's Snow White's scary adventure. <laughs> and then they Hey, look, it's Pinocchio. The nice thing is, there's like no lines for these. They're all in line for Peter Pan. These cars look strangely familiar. Oh, except it's Jiminy Cricket. Did I ever tell you what the original name for the automatic boxes was for PhotoPass? Jiminy Cricket. Okay, so a little bit of juggling trying to figure out what to do next with our uh, short lines as we have them right now. Or at least shorter, because a lot of these lines aren't short at the moment. Uh, so we're gonna try Matterhorn right now, because it's gonna have a mammoth line later, and hopefully we can catch it before it gets too bad. Um, I don't know if Laurel's gonna do this one. I think we'll let her bail, because she's not a big roller coaster person anyways, and it's pretty rough. Yeah, a little bit of a line for extra magic hours. We are, what? 25 minutes in and yes you can see it's got a pretty good weight but it's one that's probably only going to get worse later so we survived the Matterhorn Laurel didn't she saved her life she died. <laughs> but um, it's showing its age it needs a retracking so neat ride but oh my gosh it's rough now that yeah, it's too rough so where to next Alice storybook Canal boats? Yeah, Canal boats? If they got them open? Hogwarts? Yeah, we gotta go build our wands. <laughs> so, at one time, many years ago, there actually used to be a ticket booth right around here. I don't know if that's the ticket booth, but. Alice! And a bit of a line, but you know what? Earlier it was spilling outside the queue, so we've gone down a good bit. Maybe we'll catch this. They definitely updated Alice. Lots of projections in it, uh, which was it was really well done. But uh, you could tell it wasn't quite the exact original there. But so really neat. So now we're going to head around. Um, 
I don't know if we're going to do storybook length canal boats or if we're going to hit Roger Rabbit and then come back for the canal boats. And then we've got an 8.30 fast pass for Indiana Jones. So here's something you don't get to see very often. They're adding a boat. Laurel likes the duckies. One that you don't want to ride. Poor duck. Yeah, the little heads. They, they twist off really good. They pop too. For some reason, she's not real happy with me at the moment. I'm I don't think. I can, I can tell you what else they do real good. Nope. Now, most adventurers begin their journey through the pages of a book, but those who come in person will find that their journey can be quite magical, or even fantasy. Ooh. We like to begin our journey with Once Upon a Time, and in our case, the Big Bad Wolf, whose cave is coming up to our left. Hey, look, there's Pluto. Chip and Dale are over there. Okay, so watch this machine here. You pick it, you smash it. The elephant smashes it for you. That's really cool. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Would you look at this? Would you look at this? Oh, it's stunning! Oh, darling, it's stunning! If you're the one to go more extreme, even darker and even lighter. <laughs> no, but I love this middle ground. I really do. Oh, it's so... Oh, darling, it's switching. All right, my turn. Go ahead and compliment me. My turn. Yes, and shall I sign this? It's all right. Keep complimenting while I sign. Don't stop. Oh, I know. Tell me more. By any chance, are any of you familiar with the Matterhorn Mountain? Yes. You are. Oh, yes. All right. It's the very. It's the snowy. It's the snowy one up away. <laughs> oh, in fact, you can see the very deep of it. Just, just a little flat there. Now, about a year ago, they closed it down for some time. Does anyone know why? What? What, darling? They lost their Getty. Can't imagine what happened to it. I know. There you are. Oh. 
<laughs> is this your photographer? Yes. Oh, a professional photographer. Yes. Oh, but I can't do Oh, you got a friend in me. Prettier than your sister. Okay, well, I am prettier than my sister. <laughs> I am prettier than my sister. <laughs> <laughs> You're so close. Grab everything. Grab everything.
one of the things you gotta do when you're poking around Disneyland is you need to look in the back of the shops. And you can find beautiful little classic things like this. Very cool. So, this is actually really cool. You can see outside, you got the restaurant out there. This is actually the backside of the villain shop and the jewelry shop. And it's set up almost like a little alley here. It reminds me a little bit of France, especially with the crystal and the chandeliers and everything. It's not exactly the same, you know, it, it definitely is different, but harkens back a little bit. So, kind of cool. And, and then you got these dangerous nerds. So Pluto's down here meeting, but the fire department is right there, and of course you got the lamp up above. That is actually Walt's original apartment right there. So another little bit of Walt, and the light's always on, signifying they're in memory of him having been there. And then you got City Hall right there. Okay, so I told you I might have a special guest. Well, um, I found him. Oh, so, hi there, pals. <laughs> uh, so he does have a whole lot of time, but very grateful that Brian came out to meet me. And um, so if you could pick one thing, any one thing, and that was the only thing you could do at Disneyland, what would you do? Believe it or not, it'd probably be Ariel's Undersea Adventure over in DCA. I don't know oh. why, but I love that one. Okay. <laughs> so that, not quite what I was expecting, but hey, that's okay. It's not one that anybody ever expects, but there's something about that ride. It's just so calm and peaceful, and I was mm -hmm. like, I just love sitting back. I love the chill. facade on it, though. Yes. Um, just real pretty. I mean, definitely it's the classic beachfront. Yeah. So, so. Uh, but we're going to try and catch something here real quick. Not quite sure what, so we're going to make something up. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. All right, so where to? I'm going to follow him. He's the master. Ah. I always say I'll do a generic. I always have the best part most of so I don't need to <laughs> But it's always just like, I swear to go sail upon the open sea. And there's like, you realize that's my most part. Like, Dang it, I always Yeah, so this is fun because these two are from Florida. They've uh, never been out to Disneyland. So I'm sure the first thing y'all thought was, why is the castle so small? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, ours was the first one. <laughs> well, let me explain. The small castle makes Matterhorn look huge. That does. Absolutely. But it's been fun watching their reactions to everything and how it's different. Yes. And have y'all gotten to do the Walking in Walt's Footsteps tour? No. Won't have time this uh, time. Uh, we all got to go see Walt's apartment. It is so cool. I've we, always wanted to see that. Yeah. We got to see the outside. Yeah. It's a lot smaller than what you think on the inside, but it's still really cool. And it shows just how he and Lillian, how different they were and how in love they were. Because, like, half the room is, like, Lillian's. Well, like, went all out to like, one day. It's just gorgeous, but his side is like super down to earth and simple. He's just like, I just want to be able to cook some beans. Beans and hot dogs. Beans and hot dogs. That's all I want. Yep. So, just like he'll make his chili over there and she just Yeah, because I, I love reading the stories about Walt when you get home from work. And he's just like, I just want a couple beans. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. That's all he wanted. Or did you guys hear the story about the petrified wood that's over on the other... Uh, actually, no, I haven't even shown wood. them that yet. Yeah. So there is a giant... Oh, do you know the story then? Probably, but I'll let you tell me. So there is a giant petrified log, like, on the other side of the bridge here, uh, overlooking Tom Sawyer Island. And everybody in the weather shows this random piece of petrified wood. And the story goes... Walt wanted to do something special for Lillian for one of their anniversaries. I think it was one. And he thought he wanted to go do something so amazing that no one else could do it. And on one of their road trips, he happened to find a guy who sold petrified wood from like two years ago. So he's like, this is my perfect story. So he goes and buys this massive petrified It's like five feet yeah, tall. Five feet tall. Like, this thing is like four times bigger than I am. And he brings it to Lillian and says, like, hey, happy anniversary. And she looks to that thing and says, Walt, this will not fit on the mantle. <laughs> <laughs> and so she so graciously donated it to Disneyland so everyone could see how gracious Walt was. Just kidding. It looks like the greedy beholders of this wicked treasure. Ah, that's trippy. How does that work?
back out. So grateful for Ryan for taking a few minutes out of his busy schedule. Trust me, he's a busy man. <laughs> and spending a little time with us around the pirates and everything. So if you haven't watched Brian's channel, you need to. Shame on you. So that's Brian Hull, the man of a thousand voices. Or at least a hundred. Uh, he's got some good ones. I've but never, I counted to 250 and got tired. So I don't 250, know yeah. So he might be a thousand. I don't know. I have to go figure it out. <laughs> But thank you so much for him to coming on and joining us. I, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate <laughs> Okay, so we survived the Matterhorn. Ooh, lens flare. I am not J.J. Abrams. 